And let us begin this heart focused breathing technique by placing our awareness in the area of the heart. And take slow, deep breaths. And visualize these flowing in and out of your heart. Breathing a little slower, a little gentler than you normally would. And see if you can feel a difference from just before we began this exercise, even after a few breaths. And if you felt a difference in the way you calm down, continue to doing, doing these breathing techniques while I'm speaking. If you felt a difference, that means you were a bit stressed. And therefore, this change is uh, is kind of registering in your body and this is the normal state that you need to be in most of the day if not all of the day so continue to take these slow deep breaths visualize these flowing in and out of your heart breathing a little slower a little gentler than you normally would And just settle into your body. If it's morning for you, this will kickstart your day. This will charge your battery up so that you will have more energy at the end of the evening or the, at the end of the day than if you had not done this. If this is afternoon for you, then this will give you a little shot in the arm. It will boost your energy levels and therefore you will have enough energy at the end of the day to spend time with those that, that matter the most to you. So continue to place the awareness in the area of the heart. Take slow deep breaths. Visualize these flowing in and out of your heart. Breathing a little slower, a little gentler than you normally would. You can apply this technique throughout the day, whenever you want. I usually do this particular technique as I'm waking up in the morning. I'm not one of those, uh, as soon as the alarm goes off, I jump out of bed. I love to lay in bed and, and just, just reminisce a bit, just visualize my future, visualize uh, my desires and I do this breathing technique while I'm creating my future in my mind it's a very powerful technique if you want to try that slow deep breaths visualize these flowing in and out of your heart breathing a little slower a little gentler than you normally would excellent well good morning everyone once again and uh, welcome to your Monday morning espresso shot. I'd like to now share uh, the I didn't know that moment and uh, that basically came from uh, my, uh, my participation at the Science and Spirituality Conference this past weekend. So let me share with you something that I, uh, that I heard from one of, the, one of the key speakers, keynote speakers. What we had uh, heard, uh, I mean, we, I was at the Science and Spirituality Conference and Dr. Joe Dispenza, when he was speaking, he uh, told us about a, a scientific experiment that was conducted with a group of people. So when the group of people, uh, before a group of people entered a room, uh, Dr. Dispenza has a way of measuring energy in a room. <clears throat> and uh, he measured the energy in the room. It was uh, very low. And uh, when people entered into the room and they began their uh, mindfulness techniques and meditation techniques, uh, focusing intentions, all of the same mind, there, there would have been 10 or 20 of them. As soon as he started doing that, he saw the energy levels pick up in the room. Interestingly enough, uh, when he sent them outside to do some more walking meditations and contemplation, he measured the energy in the empty room after they had left and the energy levels actually picked up some more. 
uh, and, and the energy levels in the room were actually higher. And uh, when, the, when the group came back and he began to do some more work with them and meditation and all that stuff, and they broke for lunch and they took off, left the room, he measured them again. And the energy levels uh, were higher than the ones before. And throughout the day, the energy levels kept climbing up. And the only one thing he was doing was uh, guiding everyone through a mindfulness meditation technique, trying to get into the alpha waves in the brain and uh, having everybody just focus on the positive outcomes they want in their lives. Which is why I've begun to now wake up every morning with a focused thought while I do these techniques. It's a, it's a powerful combination. So what does that tell us about us? And, 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 and what we are in our everyday lives and what we do. We've always, you know, uh, I, you must have heard of people who actually walk into a room and feel the tension. That's the energy. That's the energy that's left in the room is the tensile energy by, by some arguments that have happened in, before. Some individuals I know actually feel uh, energy levels left from centuries ago. Uh, you know, battles that had taken place in Europe, for example. Some people actually can feel the pain and the and, and pain of death, the pain of separation, the pain of injury. They can feel that, that, that energy levels are still around for some people to tune into. So what does that mean for our everyday practical lives? Whenever we are uh, entering a room, we can change the energy levels. That's the first thing we need to understand, that whatever the energy level is in a room, we can walk in there and change it just from changing from ourselves. And the practices we do here will allow you to actually do that. Because when you change your own compassionate field, your coherence level field, that's the one that's deposited in the room. And when you leave, you leave the room behind better than you, than you uh, came in with when you are feeling that compassion. So in every engagement, even if it is a difficult conversation you're having or a difficult meeting, you, when you have that difficult meeting with a, with a sense of compassion, with, with a feeling of compassion, when you do this technique and the technique we're about to do next, which is a quick coherence technique, that actually uh, raises the vibration, the energy levels in the room. So try that. Try that and, uh, next time you have a difficult conversation with somebody. You want to leave the space behind better than when you found it. And that's what we've always learned, isn't it? Uh, when we walk into a room, uh, we arrange the chairs, and they ask us to leave the room better than we, what we found it. That's etiquette. Energetically, that also works. All right? So let us uh, now get on to the next phase of our, uh, our technique which is a quick coherence technique. This is how you deposit energy into the room that is going to benefit those that follow you. So let us pr begin by practicing uh, placing awareness in the area of our heart. And then begin to take slow, deep breaths. Visualize these flowing in and out of our hearts. Breathing a little slower, a little gentler than you normally would. As you continue to place the awareness in the area of the heart, and as you continue to take slow, deep breaths, notice if these breaths are slower than you normally would and deeper than you normally would. If that's the case, then you're doing it right. When you invite all that oxygen into your lung, lungs as you breathe deeply, know that 20% of that oxygen goes directly to your brain and fuels it and recharges it. If you breathe shallow, then 20% will still go to the brain, but there won't be much left for the rest of your body and cells need oxygen to function. So breathing deeply has tremendous physiological benefits to you. So let us, let us take this advantage, at least for the next five minutes, to take slow deep breaths and visualize these flowing in and out of our hearts. 
And as we're doing this, let us experience a positive feeling, something that we feel uh, happy about. We have joy in our hearts, compassion, gratitude, appreciation. Reach for that memory in the past or reach, reach for that vision in the future and see yourself actualizing that vision. See yourself surrounded by the people in that vision of yours that you want to create. Feel the love from those people. Feel the happiness. Feel people cheering you on. It's your imagination. You can create any movie you want. Why not a happy one? And begin to experience a flow of compassion, appreciation, gratitude, love, happiness, joy. All those things are like jet fuel to your immune system. By taking this, this moment for yourself and breathing and, and visualizing and experiencing regenerative emotions. You are actually boosting your immune system. You are actually allowing more oxygen to flow to your brain. You're actually able to think clearly, more clearly than you normally would. And that is a blessing and a bonus and a gift for the rest of your day. Slow, deep breaths. Visualize these flowing in and out of your heart. Breathing a little slower, a little gentler than you normally would. And activating a regenerative emotion. And anchoring this feeling in your body so that it reminds you that this is your normal. If this is a different state for you right now, after feeling this way, anchor it into your body as a new normal. This is now your new normal. And anything that feels worse than this, which is something you may have felt a few moments before we started this product, uh, this particular practice, that would not be your new normal anymore because you've reset the bar to this normal as you take in the slow deep breaths and experiencing a regenerative emotion. And anytime you feel better than you are feeling now, that becomes your new normal. Anchor that in, raise the bar there. And because you are able to get to this space right now, in this new normal right now, your body will remember and you can get there anytime you want. You just have to take these three steps Place awareness in the area of the heart. Taking slow deep breaths. Visualize these flowing in and out of your heart. And then experience a positive feeling. And you will get to this space. Wonderful. That was 15 minutes uh, of heart coherence practice and perhaps one topic. I just want to acknowledge people that have uh, uh, placed their comments in the chat area. Well, good morning, Michelle from Los Angeles. Good morning to you. Uh, good afternoon, Joan from UK. Thank you so much for joining me. Good morning from Hawaii, from Anne, Anne, Hola, uh, Hawaii. Uh, wonderful, wonderful. Aloha to you. Uh, wonderful. Yeah, you, you, this is quite early for you in the morning in Hawaii, isn't it? You are about uh, four hours uh, behind the 9 a.m. So thank you so much for waking up so early. I hope it was worthwhile. Um, 5 a.m. for Anne. Yes, 5 a.m. Wow. Wonderful. Thank you so much. If there are any questions, I would love to address them at this point in time. Uh, otherwise, we can just say thank you so much for joining. So I'll wait a moment or so for any questions to come up. And if there are none, you can always send me an email uh, asking a question or by all means uh, uh, send something to me if you have a topic you want me to cover. Uh, every week I, I find a new topic, either from my coaching practice where uh, you know a client of mine has a breakthrough or something, some conference I've gone to, I've learned something, I always bring that in. So I would love to learn, hear from you if you have any topics to share. Uh, Anne has a question. Um, why, why, why do we go down 
when we know how wonderful and easy it is to feel so wonderful? I believe that was a rhetorical question. You're absolutely correct. You know, one of the, you bring up, you know, although in that simple statement you made, Anne, uh, there's, there's a complexity uh, and, and complexity of awareness. And this is the key is that, you know, a lot of people say, you make me feel sad. Uh, you make me feel, you know, bad. Uh, because of you, I'm going down this path, which I don't want to. And that is giving your power away. That is basically saying I'm a victim. We're not born victims. We absolutely are not born victims. What we want to do is we want to say, instead of saying, uh, you made me feel this way, uh, I think if we turn that word around and saying, I feel this way because I observed a behavior from you this way. And when you say that, you take ownership of how you feel. And then all you have to do is reach into that future you want to create and experience that in the now. And when you experience that, trust me, it has worked for me, it will work for you. You know, uh, when I was at this conference, I focused on a future that I said, I want to serve this particular group of people. It was a nonprofit organization. I want to serve this group of people to help them uh, transform their thinking process so that they can serve others better. After I came back, I received a call within two days to come and help facilitate a very difficult, difficult conversation with 20 people in the room. When I started facilitating that particular uh, session, uh, the, the people that were there were uh, in the national committee of that group. So there was a local committee and present were people in the, from the, na the head of the national committees. And when I started, I began to do my, my uh, engagement. I began to bring everybody and, and create a collaborative change. Uh, the people from the national people were, were, were excited about the way I handled things. They invited me to participate at the national level. So when I set my focus and my intention and my emotion of compassion and love and appreciation, and I channeled it and focused it all towards the future I want to create, it, cre it, it, it happened, it materialized within days. You can do that too. And I, I invite you to try. And I invite you to send me comments and let me know if that worked for you. And uh, AJ, thank you so much. Uh, uh, she said, uh, uh, this practice is lovely. Ha everyone have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for echoing that, Anne. So I don't see any more comments coming through. And I want to thank you for joining me today. And I look forward to our engagement next Monday. You are most welcome, man. You are most welcome, everyone. Thank you so much for joining. Until next Monday, take care.